Howdy folks, hope you're doing well and staying safe. I've got a review here of a kind of a cool boat. It's the new German premium boat, the uh, Tier 8 Schill. It's based on the Grasch Bay class of ships, and it's fantastic. I have to be honest, whether you're playing co-op with this, you're playing operations, or you're playing randoms, this is a great boat. Because I'm a brawler, I don't uh, I don't hang in the back and, and lob shells over the other side of the map. That's why I don't have the model. Uh, but I like to brawl, and this boat is a lot of fun, and I mean a lot of fun. It's got a good balance on it, it has turtle back armor, it's got a, a reload booster on it, it's got a heal, which is fantastic, and the hydro is fantastic. But overall, yeah, it's a good boat. Uh, so far, I'm really enjoying it, and it's been a while since I've ever had Wargaming give a boat out that actually is, you know, fun to play, which is interesting. And look, she can take a lot of damage. I mean, this boat, as you see right now, I think this is my co-op game. I think it is a co-op game. Don't quote me on it. We end up winning. That's co-op game. So that part of the blowout. But anyway, why don't we get into it? And I want to do some comparisons with the Garage Bay as well. Let's grab this. There you go. Look at the artwork. Wargaming's art department does such a great job. I love the way these ships look. But hey, let's go to the armor layout. So right off the bat, she's got 27 at the top and 30 mil on the side. So she can deflect... Uh, 400 405 I believe it is but the crash bay look at the citadel it, there's no there's no turtle back armor so it's not exactly kosher as a tier six but the shell she's got that little bit of turtle back in there in the Antwerp, and then of course on the actual overall plating up here 120 mil so it's uh, you can bounce you can angle and bounce stuff so it's pretty good I like it survivability 44k not bad 13 for torpedo protection not great artillery Okay, two turrets, 283 millimeters, so 20 second reload, 2.8 seconds for turret traverse. I do use Grease the Gears for that. Phenomenal range of 17.3 kilometers, and she can penetrate 71 millimeters at deck with HE, so you can really light up some stuff at distances, which is fantastic. And the AP is not bad against cruisers and destroyers if you had to. Even her secondaries at 8 kilometers range in 3.4 seconds. Reload is really outstanding and can penetrate up to 38 mil, 26 for the other one, for the smaller versions. Torpedoes, four torps aside, uh, a minute and a half reload, eight kilometer range, 13.7 damage, and the damage is pretty good. 68 notch, which is pretty good for speed. 1.3 detectability, kind of sucks. Airstrike, yeah, only seven kilometers. I wish this was eight, and I'm actually going to give you an example on one of the replay games I actually had with this boat of why that would be nice if it was eight kilometers because it affected how to play the game. Now, speed, 34.1. Runner shifts, 9.9, .9, but I did take the one of the captain skills for that, and I'll show you that in a minute. 11.7 .7 for detectability is really good. 11 kilometers in smoke, not the best. And, uh, yeah, 13 and change if you're on fire, so not the great. You know, okay, equipment. Main armor modification. I took the hydroacoustic upgrade, took aiming modification, because for distances. Here's where I took the steering, steering gear modification. I thought it was important to me to help turn so I don't get necked. And broadside, and of course concealment. Repair is decent. As a cruiser, 57 second reload on it. I took the hydro upgrade because it's fantastic. Six kilometers for ships and four for torpedoes. That is like up there with the guy, with the uh, um, the GK. Here's the reload booster. This thing's fantastic. 50% reduction last 20 seconds. You can take a spotter plane, like a fighter for now. I like it to detect things and shoot things down. And a yeah, heal. It's awesome. You don't get heals usually at tier 8, which is nice, so it's really good. There's my flags. I'm set up for a fire starter because I use a lot of HE in this boat. And I do have a permanent camera with it. Pretty straightforward. Going to Luntens. Okay, so for me, I do take grease the gears, get a bit of church verse. I do take swift fish, extra speed to the torpedoes. Gun feeder because you don't want to change your bullets. <laughs> Any shells, rather. And then, of course, I take demolition expert because I want to light things on fire. Priority target. Adrenaline Rush, these are all pretty standard to me. I did take Superintendent for this one because of all the extra consumables. It's fantastic. And then, of course, Concealment. And nowadays with subs and whatnot, and uh, I take uh, Relocator, RPF. So I want to quickly show you this because this is what uh, one of the games. I was the only Tier 8 boat on my team. The rest, This is a Tier 10 game. And by the way, I ended up getting top ranking in this game. So it's a very good boat. I can't reach a submarine. And if it was a one more kilometer, I could. So he can sit here and torp me free of charge, and yeah, that's a bit annoying. But hey, overall, what would I say? I think this is a really balanced boat. I also think, ooh, there's my other tier 8 counterpart, the Hodman. Yeah, he's going back to port. <laughs> First blood. But uh, I think it's a good boat. I like it a lot. I mean, I really do like it a lot. It, it does well in co-op, does well in on um, 
uh, scenarios or operations. It does well in, in randoms. It can hold itself against tier 10 boats. And I've really had a good time playing it. So I'm keeping it. Let me know down below if you guys got it and whatnot. Because I like it. I would highly recommend this boat. But uh, hey, can you guys look down below? Click the video that's down there. It's a really good video. And as always, like, share, and subscribe. But take care. Bye for now.